Today I want to show you how you can easily import Excel spreadsheets to SharePoint as lists, making use of the import functionality that was just released. So before we get started in SharePoint, we need to make sure that our spreadsheet has a table inside of it as the one that I'm showing here. So this is an inventory spreadsheet where there are several laptops and I want to bring this to SharePoint as a list to be able to manage all this information on SharePoint and then to build views on top of this information. So let's see how this can be done now on modern SharePoint. From your modern SharePoint site, you need to go to site contents. And from here, you will have to click on new and then list. There is a new option that allow you to import a list from Excel. You will have to provide the name for your list and then you will have to select your file. This form will detect all the tables you may have inside of your Excel spreadsheet. You have to make sure that you have tables inside of it. Otherwise, you will not see uh, any data in this form. So this one only has a, one table and all the data it's already in here. So what you have to do now is to define the type of data for each one of these columns. As you can see, you have at the top here the names of the columns. This will be the name of the column on your SharePoint and that cannot be changed in this interface. If you want to change this, either you have to do it in the SharePoint after the list was created or you have to modify it in the Excel file. But let's see how you can modify the data type. This column here, I want to make it as a choice and there are two empty columns that I don't want to import at all to SharePoint. So I will select do not import. The last two columns, as you can see, do not have a name on the spreadsheet. So they were imported with column three and column four. No big deal. I will be able to change this once the list is on the SharePoint. I will hit the create button and this will just take a few seconds to get imported into SharePoint. So here it is my spreadsheet now inside of SharePoint and I can use this data and I can create views and top of them and reach views using JSONs. And all of those good features of the modern SharePoint lists are now available for me to transform this data. Just to show you how columns can be renamed, I want to rename this to Windows version. So I need to go to the list settings, select the column, and type the new name. Hope you've liked this quick tutorial. For more content like this, make sure you subscribe this channel and make sure you follow me on Twitter and on Ends on SharePoint and Ends on Teams blogs. And I would like to invite you to have a look at the book that I just released, Ends on Microsoft Teams. Bye-bye.